I'd like to welcome all of y'all out this afternoon to the 2017 Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. This is going to get interesting quick. It's been two days of tough fishing for these collegiate anglers. Changing conditions each of the last four days have kept the field guessing. Some were able to adapt, others, well, some just had a rough weekend. It was definitely a grind today. We, uh, our morning bite didn't pay out like we thought it was, like it did yesterday. It, it really petered out today, and we didn't get on them until just picking up one here and there. We never really got on them, actually. And like he said, we left one on bed, probably five pounds, and it was just barely getting here by the skin of our teeth, so it was just tough. Is this gonna help you or hurt you? Uh, I think it's gonna help us. Feel like you're gonna at least hold on to that first place spot? I, I think we are. Uh, we, we had a team up there, and I think they caught them again today, and hopefully our partners caught them pretty good, and we can move up the standings and help our, help our points out. Looking to hold on to the lead in the Cabela's School of the Year standings presented by Abu Garcia, Bryan College managed a 13th place finish with a total two-day wait of 33.27. Way to go. Your day one leaders from Murray State had a rough day. After a jaw-dropping day one weight of 27.19, they struggled on day two, bringing in a combined weight of just 7.15 and falling down to 10th place overall. Moving on to the top of the leaderboard, McMurray University's Chad Moore and Ryan Neville sacked up a two-day total weight of 38.23 to lock up fifth place. Okay, University of Montevallo. The University of Montevallo climbed from 16th all the way up to fourth, weighing in a combined 19.93 on day two, bringing their two-day total to 38.57. Okay, next team up. Tennessee Tech University. The Golden Eagles from Tennessee Tech represented this weekend, with Jesse Guerin and Daniel Holt finishing the week in third with 38-88. Y'all put your hands together, new leaders. Yesterday we pulled in, we left from weighing, we had an early boat draw, and uh, we pulled in there, and we had 19 pounds by like 10 o'clock, and we're, let's save the rest of our bedfish. Um, I know there's a bunch of boats in there, but it just seemed like we were doing something a little different and uh, catching them behind other boats. So we just left them alone, and we went in there today, dropped the trolling motor, and never left. So, I mean, a lot of hours in there on the trouble motor standing up and looking, but it's, if that's what gets us third, that's what we'll do. Hunter Mills and Hunter McKinley were part of the McMurray State Flurry on day one, ending the day in second. Today, they've got another limit, and we'll turn it over to tournament director Anthony Wright for the call. These fish today are gonna to weigh 1140, with yesterday's is 3811. Y'all are in second place. What about your teammates? They've got them, or do you know? Uh, I know they have uh, three, I don't know. Uh... I don't know the size, really. We were fishing uh, a main, no, I wouldn't say a main lake point, but a point leading back to a pocket. And uh, there's a flat up around the point, but out from it, there was uh, like a seven, eight foot depth change. And uh, what we think is it was just pre-spawn fish pulling up and getting on that flat. And we were just cranking that flat. There was shells. Um, there was also a road bed. Road bed. Grass. And grass. Pretty there much was everything that they Everything you need. Everything for, that they need to spawn yeah. and come up and transition. Stumps. Transition points and stuff, so. LSU's Dakota Sparks and Levi Sharp are up next. They started the day in fifth, and they're stepping up to the scales with another limit. Their team had 20, 92, and I believe we're going to have a lead change just with what they brought up here. Get up here close. This is going to be 1298 for a total of 3390. That is a good quality string of fish. Up next for the Tigers is Matt Glad and Owen Richard. Y'all are in the top 10 right now. 902 to add to it. 4292 new leaders. Get those fish out and show them to the crowd. New leaders. Way to go, anglers. Yes, sir. Well, practice, we found a flipping bite. We figured the fish would be moving up this time of the year with the, with the way the weather has been here in Russellville. So we knew that they'd be moving up the bed. So practice, we found a flipping bite and a little bit of a moving bite, moving bait bite as well. But we just couldn't find that moving bait bite personally in the tournament. I don't know if they with just one bag left away, here's McMurray State's Mike Lowry and Brian Cox. Oh, All right, from Murray State University, we've got Mike and Brian. Y'all come on up. They had 38-11 with this four-man team yesterday. All they need is 481 to take over the lead. Right now, you're in fifth place. Uh, there, look, he's wanting to lift up on it. 981, new leaders, new winners, 4792. All right, y'all hold these fish up. 
All right, y'all look out there. This is going on live stream, national television. Smile at them. That's a way to go. After two days of challenging conditions, Murray State comes out on top with a commanding five-pound lead over the rest of the field. For their efforts, the 2017 champs will take home $1,600 in Cabela's gift cards. They'll each get a pair of Costa sunglasses, a rod from Temple Fork, and gear from Buff Headwear. Looking at the Cabela's School of the Year standings presented by Abu Garcia, there were a couple of shifts in the top 10, but Bryan College maintains their lead heading into the final stretch of the season.